Hi, happy weekend. Hope you're well. It's beautiful where I am here in Glastonbury. Very bright, sunshiny day. I hope it's nice where you are too. Today and yesterday and really overnight, there was such a celestial opening. I'm sure you've seen all of the meditation gatherings that have been happening all over the world. I think the main gathering was through my night, um, 3.45 a.m. So you were part of it, depending on where you are in the world. Um, you know, this shift that we are living in is is a shift that has been predicted for such a long time. We don't know what it is that we're in, but we know that we are in something. Something to remember, or what I'm reminding myself to remember, is that just to move through it, be in it. Try not to, you know, push things down. Whatever is rising up, let it rise up. And the other thing is, there's been a lot of talk around this new earth that we've been holding a vision for. Um, maybe that's a phrase that you know of. I am very aware that many people in my community here, um, at a soul level, um, have this memory or this feeling that they're here for a reason, that they are wanting to be part of this shift in awakening, this global awakening that is happening, that has been happening for so long. And I believe that what we are going through now um, is part of that. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys two different things that I've found um, comfort in. I know, I know that anyone who's been through a, um, hi Amy, Charlotte, and Sadie, baby Sadie, anyone who's been through anything significant, um, knows how difficult it is to keep your focus when you're properly going through something. So what I want to share today is two things which, um, um, I'm drawing um, support from to keep my focus clear um, amidst all the chaos and fear and and um, ungroundedness that may be happening. Um, maybe you've been feeling um, like you've been totally take, taken out and taken down by um, what's happening around the world. Maybe you feel like... Um, You've got solid ground, whatever it is, it's all valid, it's all meant to rise up to the top. But what I want to share today and the focus I want us to, to, or I'm inviting us to consider right now is that we keep holding the vision that we've always had, particularly those of us who feel called to be part of this global awakening. Um, there is no question that this joint experience, while some of us are, are um, more privileged than others, while some of us are suffering more than others, we are being called to consider the other, to consider those most vulnerable through our actions. And I really want to encourage anyone out there, particularly if you're in a country which is just beginning to go into isolation and lockdown and all of that, I um, really want to invite you to consider the most vulnerable, to really allow life to initiate you through going in through this experience. The card, I want to share a card and a passage with you guys today. The first card is this one, which was one of the first um, cards in the Starseed Oracle and it's called A New Earth. Um, it's a visual I've had in my heart for a very long time. Um, and to me, I mean, it says, it's happening, keep holding the vision. Um, you'll see she's looking out, actually, at Earth. And um, there is just a, a deep knowing, a deep soul memory of why she's here. A deep, while she is there, 
in isolation on her own there is this deep knowing that that things are being woven on her behalf so i want to read this for us all um, with the invitation that we keep holding the vision from the center point of our heart it says don't give up now you're closer than you think i know it's hard to hold the frequency of a new age when it feels as if so much is crumbling and so many are losing faith sign that you're facing the right direction you have a great gift in being able to see the potential of things before they exist. Tend to the new seeds. Dream them into existence. Don't lose faith now. Keep your focus fixed. Planting new seeds and bringing about a shift of the age is no mean feat. It requires extreme trust and rapid vision. This is a reminder to have faith. You chose to be here to be part a global shift whether you're bringing it about through prayer or meditation or through working on a new project job or creation or even through staying at home keep going it's happening don't give up now the world needs more dreamers and weavers more people with hope in their hearts the road ahead may not be plain sailing ushering in a new age in times of change never is you're being encouraged to remember that what you've been working towards at soul level for so long is almost here. Don't question yourself. Don't waver. Dig your decision deep. For if you do in the not too distant future, you'll be able to sit back and watch all that we've carefully planted and nurtured grow and bloom. It's possible. Keep focusing on your dreams. Keep dreaming a new world into being closer, and we are closer than we think. So my my soul inquiry for today, and if, if you write it in the, con in the, the comments, the soul inquiry is, how can you keep holding the vision? How can you keep holding the vision at this time? Time when when so much is um, there's so much reactivity around us there's a lot of us who are kind of blowing in the wind how can you keep holding the vision at this time so I want you to share that in the comments how can you keep how can you keep holding the vision how can you keep Prayer, trust, meditation. Faith and breathe. Yep. Spread kindness. Stay at home. Meditation, dancing, laughter. Yes, laughter. So often when we go through initiatory times it can feel like um, and you know other experiences of this or sickness or grief or loss um, so many of us think that we need to stay serious during those times but in my experience like particularly when I've been at the most grief stricken through the loss of love when I've been the saddest I've actually also laughed the most <laughs> Um, there's something about when we are being cracked open that we are, we are, if we allow it, if we allow ourselves to stay open through it, we're actually closer to the humor and the love as well as the, the pain and the uncomfortableness. My teacher taught me to embrace the uncomfortableness and that actually it's when we're most uncomfortable that we are most likely growing i know i experienced that recently in giving birth to my son the only option was to breathe through it the only option was to allow the pain to open myself by birthing energy even more and i think birthing birth, giving birth is is just like everything in life everything is the same as that the same as the seasons the same as the cycles 
being in the highest vibration yeah and the thing to remember as well when we're we're wanting to be in the right vibration we can't just pretend so in order to shift our vibration often we need to find a way to move through the frustration the anger the, the sadness whatever it is that arises so that's great so keep those suggestions coming in the next bit that I wanted to read is um, it's on page 45 on rise in rise sister rise if you want um, so it says this is a time of great awakening the vows of silence have been lifted we are remembering the sacredness of what it means to be human we are birthing a new age the seers and sages through the ages this moment that we're living in and you choose to incarnate right in the middle of it some call it the end of patriarchy the Mayans called it the new dawn because of what name you give it all souls are called to step up right now we are in a transition period between the ages in the process of allowing the old cycle to fall away and the new to rise and with any kind of change as with any kind of change making the transition is not easy the things that once served falling away anything inauthentic is unable to survive like driving in the fog and trusting the road will appear before we're being forced to release old identities and waiting that no longer serve us using our intuition and purpose if you are reading this book or listening to me speak page 45 um, um, <laughs> chances are you are ready already in the process of doing so and here to lead the way I believe that there is a group of souls who have been incarnating in significant periods of history preparing for this exact time devoting their lives to bringing back the voice of the sacred and anchoring the light all over the planet, reminding the world of the importance of living, living in harmony with Mother Earth, her seasons, and that healing is possible during periods of history when it was not safe to do so. Magdalene sisters, daughters of Isis, seasons, priestesses, witches, mystics, healers, shamans, is artists, midwives, visionaries, guardians of the earth and storytellers of times past, interesting women, outspoken women, courageous women, fierce women, those who knew their power, those who trusted their wisdom and the men who protected her so she could do her sacred work. Men were forced to retreat underground in times when it was not to share their voice, own their power, and trust their innate wisdom. This is the dawn of a new day. Ancient wisdom once and silenced has awakened and is now to rise. Each of us part of a divine sisterhood who, by coming together and healing ourselves, will bring about a much-needed shift on the planet. It's time for us all to allow what is beckoning within to be given the permission and space to rise. The process may not be pretty, and it quite certainly will not be linear, but it is necessary and it is time. As one of us awakens and rises, it makes it easier for her to follow her lead. She is me and we are she rises to rise. So, yeah, and then on this page, uh, this is one of my favorite pages, that they went through a lot to be here together at this time. There was no way they were going to sleep through it now. So, if at any point you're questioning or wondering what the hell is happening, what is it that we're going through, we don't need to understand it. We're living through it. And in perfect time we will be able to look back at this time as, as i believe time between time when everything stopped 
where humanity stopped and the invitation was for humanity to come back to our humanity. Uh, so I hope that is um, somewhat helpful. <laughs> uh, stay awake through it. Keep your heart open to it and we will move through this together. Um, so, so lovely connecting with you all. I'll be back tomorrow.